So let's take a look at one of our favorites, and that would be Medicare for All. Currently, we have insurance companies all over the place. All these insurance companies. And what is their role? Some loser will probably try and tell you it's to help you get your services taken care of. But the real reason they're there is to prevent service, to prevent you from getting service. But here is the federal government. It spends money directly to doctors. Here's you, the taxpayer, the citizen, whatever. You go to them for service. Instead of it being denied and run through all this shit, federal government would make direct payments to them. Whatever rules and regs that go into the M4 all um, system would be in play. But this is this is it. Well, guess what? Each of these times, these guys go back and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Guess what that is? That's money. Each transaction is money, okay? If you eliminate all of this stuff, you eliminate a huge amount of economic activity from jobs to transactions, bankruptcies, on and on and on, all these different things that come from it. <clears throat> and this becomes a much more efficient system. And so all of a sudden, that's real GDP right there, my friends, even though it's for horrible purposes, that is all GDP right there. You eliminate that, this costs a fraction of that. So what is that? Let's go ahead and use this word, deflationary. If it's deflationary, what do you think, if we say we want to raise taxes to curb inflation, if we have a deflationary thing, what would we want to do? We would want to cut taxes. So there are some really messed up people that don't really have a clue about the world they live in that are busy telling you we got to raise taxes, do a progressive taxation, whatever, to pay for Medicare for all. But I've just shown you empirically, empirically right here, okay, that this, by eliminating that, creates deflationary bias, which by extension means this requires a tax cut right there. How many knuckleheads that are cheer championing health care can tell you that? And if they can't tell you that, why not? Why can't they fucking tell you that? And why do they ignore those who can tell you that when they try and explain it? Now, let me show you something even worse. Remember this picture, folks. This is national 